Yo, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. We got the ZR1's LS9 right here and we're gonna start ripping it apart. So since I got it all ripped apart here, for the ones that just say, oh, it's just a regular LS, it is not. This is, in true fact, an LS9. Uh, well, here is the blower right here. Here is the LS9, it's getting sent out. I think we are gonna keep it um, the uh, 2300, I haven't decided if we're gonna go 2650 yet, but we are keeping my heads. My heads are good, but as you all know, I did mess up a good piston in this one. So uh, I don't even remember which one I did. I just know one of them's messed up, but I haven't taken the other head off yet to know how bad it is messed up. So we're gonna break this down uh, and pretty much see exactly you know what's salvageable and what's not. The block is still salvageable. It is a damaged sleeve. I just don't know how many sleeves I have damaged, but I am gonna probably end up keeping it. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it as a spare or we end up sticking this block in the Trans Am over there. But I would like to have the Trans Am over there, the one that's hiding under the cover. There we go. The one that's hiding over there under the cover to have it 427 as well. And I do not wanna put an iron block in that because that is actually gonna be the only one that is not forced induction with air coming from like a turbo or a blower. That car is actually going to be getting nitrous. So that will have the 427. That one already has a 427. That one's getting the 427. As you know, the 427 is being built by LME as we speak. And that one is getting an iron block. That one does have an iron block, but I'm going to end up beating the dog shit out of that one. So that's why we're gonna put an iron block in it. And uh, that won't have aluminum, but uh, that'll be a street car and that'll get, you know, two, three, four, five hundred shot of spray. But, so all of them will have 427s except my Z06 and my other garage that will not have a 427. That will probably still have the 376. Maybe one day we'll get a 416 or something like that. But I have my other engine that came out of Snow White that is uh, coming back here very shortly. So we're going to tear this apart and uh, see exactly how damaged it is. So let's get to going. Got one side coming on, getting the heads, getting ready to come off. Getting the rockers loose, just got some of them loose. As you can see, some of them are loose. All right, y'all, so got all the rockers, accessory brackets, all that stuff off. Getting ready to pull the heads. You can see I got some of the head uh, bolts up now. And then we're gonna go on this side. This is the only one I haven't taken off yet, but I have taken off the passenger side head. And I know, uh, I can't remember if it's, uh, this back one, or if it's this one, I know one of them is really bad. I think both of them are really messed up. I just haven't really looked at it. But I don't know if anything's really messed up on this side yet. And uh, I guess we'll pretty much go from there. So when I get them off, we'll, uh, we'll see what's going down. ZR1 engine teardown. Ooh, baby. Heads are still good. All right, y'all. Scored. Let's see. You can see right there and right there. Back to everything else seems pretty good. So both heads came out okay. Valves got a little hot, can't lie, on some of them more than others, but everything else is good. I'm gonna get the rest of this, then there's really nothing else to see. Get this block sent off, and uh, we'll catch you for another episode. Peace.